In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new camera from Runcam. Now, this is targeted mainly for racers, and this is supposed to be the ultimate racer camera due to its current feature set. Now, some of the specs currently, it is a micro-sized camera. It takes 5 to 36 volts and could come in two different flavors, which is the 1.8 millimeter lens, which gives you 160 degree field of view and or the 2.1 millimeter lens, which gives you 145 degree field of view. Now, they're stating quite a lot. They're saying that it is OLED optimized, so it gives you the better overall picture for an OLED goggle, such as the HDO, Skyzone, and anything else that's running an OLED. Now, they're also saying something about clean image, and what they really mean there is they've added some sort of filtration onto the camera. Well, if you've noticed in my previous videos, I've always told you never set these cameras up on raw battery voltage because a couple things could happen. One is that they're very susceptible to noise, and you'll constantly think it's your video transmitter when it's actually just your camera. These cameras are very susceptible to noise. However, here they're stating they've added some sort of filtration. But even with that said, I still highly recommend you just set it up on some sort of a regulator. Now, what's really cool also is this thing can run both NTSC and PAL, which is really great. You can choose that. And for aspect ratio, you can also choose whether it be 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 in the menu, which is also really great. So it can give you the flexibility and peace of mind. And again, this is why they're trying to make it the ultimate racer camera and your only solution here. Another awesome feature they're providing is the UART control. So you can basically flash this through Betaflight and or set up scenes for specific places and scenarios, such as if you go to specific places, you can have a specific profile for that area. And if, and if you go to another place, you can also have a specific profile for that area. So that's really nice right out of the box here. Now, everything on paper seems amazing. Super wide dynamic range with also low latency, which is what we're going to be testing today. It is also using a SEMO sensor. So I'm expecting some sort of a rolling shutter and to have very stable and static latency. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check the testing results. Before starting the testing, just a word from our sponsor, PCBWay is one of the leading PCB manufacturers. It is the best place to have your PCB manufactured. This is where I've done most of my projects and some of the things that I currently have in the market that I sell to end users. So if you're ever in doubt into flashing services, assembly services, or just a PCB manufacturing part, definitely check them out. Their links are down below. So before jumping into the testing results, let's take a look at some of the things they actually provide in the packaging here. Now they do give you an adapter, which is from a micro to a mini so if your frame only takes a mini then you'll be able to set this up without having to purchase an adapter so that's really great out of the box here osd remote adapter and this will convert it in order for you to use the osd remote if you did not want to set this up on a uart and the osd remote would go right there however they do not include an osd remote in the packaging so keep that in mind and they also provide us with the silicone wires that are going to be connecting to the camera now if you take a closer look here you see that once we insert the connector into place god damn so now once we have the connector in the back right here if you didn't know how to set this up this would be where your 5 volt would go or any other regulator if you really had to then you would put it on battery voltage then we have ground and then we have video which would be your video wire and now we have VBAT plus now this is considered kind of like a multimeter this will actually read your battery voltage here so this wire would go exactly where the red wire of your XT30 is connected which is the positive battery pad and that would give you your voltage down in the default OSD that's currently in this and here is our UART connection in order for you to be able to control this and it'll allow it to update the firmware which is a really really great feature to have here so with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the testing results. Now, as expected, I was expecting a rolling shutter, and this is exactly what we see from the video signal here. It was at a static two milliseconds with an LED turning on. That means it was in a pitch black area, and once the LED turned on, it took two milliseconds to process that and actually start sending it through the yellow wire down to your OSD. So that is insanely fast. So for reference here, anything above 35, milliseconds you start to notice anything below 25 milliseconds is great anything below 10 and 15 milliseconds is awesome 
but anything under five milliseconds is just crazy. And this is what we have here, a static two milliseconds. You moving from a shaded area into a well lit area. However, I also test the opposite, which is going from a bright area down to basically no light. And in every FPV camera I test, I do see an increase in latency. And again, this had the same thing. We had an increase, but the increase was just a maximum of four milliseconds, which is also a really, really insane number. However, you can actually see that it picked it up within two milliseconds. And the reason why we see it all the way up to four milliseconds is due to the brightness and exposure levels trying to correct themselves. And that basically took two milliseconds, but the overall latency is actually two milliseconds when it actually notices the difference, which in again is insane. And this is the type of latency you want in a racing camera. And well, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Everything is linked down below. Also, I do give these out on Patreon, so come join my Patreon. You also get access to my secret shop and my open hardware flight controller, which you can do anything you want with. And I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.